Today I'll be answering a common question that I get from a lot of my viewers, which causes a lot of confusion. So what is the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com? You probably heard a lot of people talk about WordPress, but when you went to WordPress.com, it wasn't exactly what you had in mind, right? So first, let's start with WordPress.org. Now WordPress.org is primarily accessible through hosting companies. So if you go to WordPress.org and try to build your website, you can't. I think that's where the confusion starts. WordPress.org is an open source platform that allows you to build your website with drag and drop builders, SEO plugins, and also gives you e-commerce functionalities. You can build anything from a basic website to a blog, to a multi-vendor e-commerce website, or even a hotel booking website, which I do have many tutorials on. When using WordPress.org, you'll have access to tons of plugins, page builders, and you can purchase any WordPress theme you come across on the internet. You can then take themes that you purchased and upload them to your WordPress websites, import the demo contents, and bam, your website is done. It's simply incredible. Now you're probably asking yourself, how do I install WordPress.org? It's really easy. Almost all hosting providers have WordPress available for their customers. You simply sign up for a shared or cloud hosting account and then depending on your server, WordPress will be available in the cPanel or your customer portal. You then click on install WordPress, then your host installs WordPress onto your domain that you purchased and now you can start building your website right away. It's really easy. I personally recommend Name Hero. They have the best prices for hosting, amazing support and really fast one click setup for WordPress. I also do have an exclusive discount for Name Hero and a quick video on how to install WordPress with them. So I'll leave that in the description below of this video. So that's WordPress.org in a nutshell. It's primarily available through hosting company, which I think leads to most of the confusion. On WordPress.org's own webpage, they do recommend to use a hosting company because it's a much simpler process. So to summarize, WordPress.org is an open source platform that offers themes, plugins, e-commerce functionalities all for free. Plus learning WordPress is really easy. You'll need some guidance to understand where to start. I think that also leads to some sort of confusion, but I do have many videos on how to make a website with WordPress. It's really easy and I'll leave those tutorials for you in the description below of this video. So now that you guys know about WordPress.org, now let's go ahead and talk about WordPress.com. So when you first go to WordPress.com, they'll ask to host your website and they offer four different plans. The personal, premium, business, and the e-commerce plan. These plans are very different from each other. So first, let's talk about the personal and the premium plan. First, you might have noticed the interface is much different with the WordPress.com. They use their own interface that works a little different from the WordPress.org version that we saw earlier. The biggest drawback is the personal and the premium plan do not allow you to upload plugins or upload your own themes, making these plans extremely limited. You've also noticed many of the free themes that you've come to love like Astra, Bloxy, or OceanWP are not available in these plans either. Instead, WordPress has their own unique themes to select from. You'll also be bombarded with advertisements asking you to upgrade, offering additional services, and asking you to sign up for various services like Jetpack, which to me just comes off as very annoying. Your only option to build a website with these plans is using their default Gutenberg builder and these generic themes, which I'm not too familiar with. And if you're looking to create something creative or more complicated like a e-commerce website or a booking website, you cannot with these plans. Overall, I wouldn't recommend either of these plans because it's just something that I wouldn't want to pay money for. Next, let's talk about the business and the e-commerce plan. The biggest difference with these two plans is now you'll have available access to plugins and also all of the WordPress.org themes. You may also purchase themes that you now find on the internet and use them on your WordPress.com website. Another confusing situation is WordPress is sort of integrating two platforms here, WordPress.com and WordPress.org. You'll notice right here how we have the default generic themes that come with WordPress.com and themes like Astra will not be available. However, if you click on the install theme way up here at the top right, you will then have access to the WordPress.org themes like Astra, OceanWP, Neve, and so on and so forth. So this does cause a lot of confusion with a lot of first time users. Now the difference between the two plans, the business and the e-commerce plan is with the e-commerce plan, you will be allowed to accept payments. With the business plan, you cannot accept payments. So those are the key differences between both plans. However, if you think about it, the personal and the premium are WordPress.com and the business and the e-commerce are sort of WordPress.org. They're kind of two different platforms and they're kind of merged together. So that's where a lot of users kind of get confused. Probably the biggest pro with WordPress.com is they will manage the hosting for you. I'm not really sure how much traffic they can handle, so that's something that you might want to ask them before signing up. Overall, these are decent plans to go with. I personally don't like the interface and they do try to constantly upsell you within your dashboard and I just find that a little annoying. 
However, this is still a huge upgrade from their base plans. Next, let's talk about pricing. WordPress.com offers monthly and annual prices. It's cheaper if you go with the annual plans. The plans start at $4 a month, all the way to $48 a month. To gain full access of WordPress, you'll need to purchase the business or the e-commerce plan. They do have cheaper plans like the personal or the premium, yet to be quite honest, I can't give you a real good reason to sign up with those plans because of the limitations you have on your website. You also lose access to all the plugins and premium themes with those two starter plans. With WordPress.org, you'll be able to find much cheaper prices. Since WordPress.org is set up through hosting companies, you'll find competitive prices trying to earn your business. Web hosting companies offer plans at around $3 a month if you sign up for a longer period. You can shop around to any web hosting company of your choice and then sign up, purchase your domain and hosting package, install WordPress, and you are all ready to build your websites. I personally recommend Name Hero or Hostinger. It's really easy to get set up, they are really affordable, and your website will be fast. Now before I let you go, I do have one quick disclaimer about web hosting and I get a lot of these questions in my Facebook group. If you're a first time user, do not go with managed hosting companies like Cloudways, Kinsta, or Get Flywheel because they do not sell domains and you will need to have server knowledge like migrating your websites. You also have to point your own name servers. So unless you have previous experience with web hosting, I would just avoid them because it causes a lot of confusion with beginners. But if you do have previous web hosting experience, then yeah, they're suitable options for sure. So whenever you hear people talk about WordPress, about 90% of the time they're referring to WordPress.org or WordPress's business and e-commerce plan. So I know it's very confusing and, and and I don't blame you. Even to me, it just baffles me about why, why this is uh, the way it is, you know? But if you guys are gonna ask me right now, how do I get started? I would definitely recommend Name Hero. I do have a video and a link to hosting in the description where you guys can sign up for hosting. You guys can install WordPress and get started with your website right away. So I hope this video kind of cleared the confusion with you because uh, again it is very confusing even to me when I first started using WordPress I went to wordpress.com starter plan and I was like what is this <laughs> you know it wasn't exactly what I had in mind so again hope this video was helpful make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see all of you party people in the next video guys take care